I am enunciated. I am going to discuss the fundamentals of alternating current or voltage. Alternating current or voltage means current or voltage which changes the magnitude and direction of these quantities change at a regular interval of time. That is AC. Simple form of AC is represented by a sine function. Sine function has a sine and cos function have peculiarities because sine changes from 0 to 1 then decreases to 0 then change goes to minus 1 and again comes back to 0. This will go on repeating. So where sine function or cosine function we will use wherever periodic variations occur. In simple harmonic motion we have used sine function and cos function to represent displacement, etc. So, a simple form of AC is called a sinusoidal AC. That means such an AC voltage is represented by purely by a sine function. For example, V equals V0 sine omega t. This represents a sinusoidal AC, AC voltage. And the corresponding sinusoidal current is represented by I equals I0 sin omega t. Sin omega t is initial value of sin omega t is 0. So current in this resistance is 0. As omega t, t is the time factor. Omega is the frequency factor. Omega t is called the phase of the AC. We will see the details later. At t equals 0 i equals i0 into sin0 that is 0. That is current into resistance is 0. As time advances, omega t increases. So sin omega t increases and it becomes maximum value 1. Then i equals i0. This is shown in the graph. The current increases from 0 to i0 maximum value. Then current decreases to zero. Then sine function becomes, increases with the negative side. Reaches a maximum negative value. Then again reduces to zero. This will go on repeating. So this is sinusoidal AC. Uh, AC and DC have a main difference. Suppose you connect a series combination of a coil and a resistance to a battery direct source current to source battery uh, suppose you read the voltage of this coil using a voltmeter you connect the two terminals of the voltmeter to this point and to this point then the voltmeter will read voltage of this coil let it be 3 volt then you measure voltage of this resistance by connecting voltmeter between these two points. Let it be 4 volt. Then you connect the terminals of the voltmeter between this point and this point. That means that is total voltage of the coil and resistance combination. If the source is a direct battery source, of course, certainly the voltmeter will read 7 volt. That is 3 plus 4, 7 volt. So, when you apply DC, voltage, total voltage across a com series combination is given by sum of the voltages of the individual components. But if you replace this battery by a, an AC source, this is a symbol of AC source current and voltage changes in direction and magnitude at a regular time interval, time interval. And here also, uh, suppose you measure voltage across the coil as 3 volt, voltage across the resistance as 4 volt, then you measure the total voltage between the coil and resistance 
between this point and this point. You may expect it to be 7 volt, but actually the voltmeter will read only 5 volt. That's the main difference between AC and DC. 4 plus 3 equals 7 is true in the case of direct current. But in AC, 3 plus 3 and 4 combine to form only 5 volt. That is, 5 is square root of 4 square plus 3 square. I am not responsible for this type of change in AC. AC behaves like that. You need not bother about it. So you use to, to take the sum voltage in AC circuit, you make use of Pythagoras theorem, 5 equals square root of 3 square plus 4 square. Or you use parallelogram law of vectors. The inference is that AC voltage and AC current behave or show vector property. That's a very important point to be remembered. You cannot handle, as in arithmetic, AC voltage and current. You should use parallelogram law of vectors. This is just because this circuit behaves like that. What am I to do? AC is like that. So, AC is entirely different from DC in its behavior, in its summation, etc. We will see all these things in the coming postings. Please subscribe the, my channel and get the full benefit by seeing all the uh, earlier postings and postings to come in the future. Thank you.